Sean Sewell here with Jeremy with Arva Beacons, Probes, Shovels, and Fat Packs. Really excited to go over the lineup. Jeremy, thank you for having us. No problem, thank you for My coming pleasure. by. Uh, Arva is a company. We're a 32-year uh, transceiver company out of Europe, uh, specifically France. Uh, we're family-owned, like I shared with you a minute ago. We're the last independent transceiver company. So, That's so cool. Yeah, only five companies in the world to make beacons, and uh, all the other four have been kind of bought up by these conglomerate corporations. But what you'll see, and as we show the line here, is we're very specific in our focus of what we do. Mm -hmm. um, um, the statistic a couple years ago, we'd made more transceivers than any other company. We were like 18 different models over those 32 <laughs> years. So we're constantly improving. Yeah. That's what that equates to. Yeah. Right? Um, but yeah, uh, an overview on the product and shoot in with questions. Next year, we will be on the same note, excited to launch a new product. Um, our whole line of transceivers, we have a good value with the Evo 4. This is the tried, true, tested, you know, sold by the tens of thousands across the globe. Uh, hasn't changed for years, doesn't do too much, but that customer that walks in or somebody that just wants a very simple product. Right. On, off, transmit, search, mark, mm -hmm. and group check. That's all it does. And so, you know, whether it's a, you're, you're looking at a store, you're trying it, you're testing it in a multi-burial or single burial, you can know this in a few minutes, everything it does, and go and practice. So you can't get lost in the woods of an advanced setup <laughs> feature. So you're not going to get confused. Yeah, yeah. It won't be overwhelming. It's just yeah. a very straightforward, this is what trans Receivers do. Cool. It is the least expensive beacon on the market, also with multiple victim marking. Oh, nice. So, yeah, to have true marking on there, um, you know, it's like a, a, a spare tire in your car. It's a rare occurrence, but if you can have the protection and the assurance, why not, right? Sure thing. Sure thing. Um, so, yeah, and the current pricing on this for this year is $259. Oh, it'll, yeah. it'll go up slightly for next year, uh, as will most most products uh, fair price from price. us and other manufacturers, yeah. And a 40 meter range? 40 meter range, yep. Well, so, that's perfect. about it industry average, uh, which you get from a lot of beacons uh, nice. out there. Um, Wonderful. Range, too, is a key feature. You'll see that as we move up the line. With the Evo 5, uh, this product, we kind of push the limits of how small you can make a beacon. You know, it's pocket size. Oh, yes. This one we small. actually sell uh, without the holster, because most people will just put it in their pockets. Yeah. There's an aftermarket holster if you want that traditional wear. Sure. But uh, the Evo 5 has, you know, the basic features with a 50 meter range, plus it has a couple extra features with uh, multiple victim marking, group check, auto revert is on a timer, so every eight minutes it checks in on you, you're searching just to make sure a second avalanche didn't bury you. Oh, wow, okay. And then something you'll see that actually only two of the companies have with the Evo 5 and the Neo is it has an interference management software. So if you have digital interference, yeah. this is kind of something that's come out in the last few years and is becoming more popular, uh, or sorry, more more occurring, I should say. Sure. But the worst thing you can do is be in search mode and have your cell phone close. Mm -hmm. It's like the beacon's trying to listen to a car horn and somebody turns up music really loud. It's just yeah. got this background noise, right? And it's, have a, it's having trouble locking on one or multiple signals. That's a good analogy. Yeah. And it's so true. There's so much interference. Uh, action cameras, cell phones, other digital devices that we almost Heated all have gloves, on us. He Heated Bluetooth, gloves. Bluetooth, GoPros, yeah. watches. Yeah, yep. little little things that could cause some background noise. Yep, that's a yep. good point. So, yeah, yeah, the Evo 5 is great. It has a, a couple other things with like a U-turn when you're going the wrong way, but still a pretty <laughs> simple thing. And then, yeah, I mean, it's got a curve to it. It's like a small phone you put in your pocket, you forget it's there. It's yeah. really nice like that. Just for comparison, I mean, it, it is smaller than my phone. Yeah. I mean, that's that's awesome. Yeah, it's a great great product. We've done really well. Uh, retail pricing for the U.S. market's 319 Again, that's going to go up to 339 next year. But, Fair yeah. price. And then um, brand new product, and you guys are one of the first uh, groups to showcase this globally. Yes. Uh, will be the Neo B Bluetooth next year, the Neo BT. Sweet. A um, couple big things. Um, we... we uh, we have this product, uh, we've had this, the Neo, in the line for several years. It's very proven, it's fast, it has the biggest range of anything on the market, currently at 70 meters this year. This is an all new product, and it'll go to an industry first 80 meters next year. So <laughs> oh, That's incredible. And like, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, there's two parts to that. Sure, you get an initial jump on the search, but you also have a more confident signal in that mid-range, from right. 40 to 60, it's been tracking the signal for longer, so you're, you're on it, you're 
you're moving, you're, you're more confident going in. It's a very good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So it, it does have an analog option as well. So you can um, switch over to analog if you either have a farther distance search up to like 90 meters mm -hmm. or you want to confirm close proximity burials. Sweet. Yeah, that's the, the two kind of functional things for analog. But otherwise, it's very customizable. It has a motion sensor for the auto revert. It has a standby mode that's really handy for shoveling to throw it in your pocket. It's not transmitting to interface search. It's not receiving wow. to be loud for communication. It's just there, and if you stop moving, it's going to check in on you. That's, that's a so cool standby <laughs> mode that's quick to access. That's so great. And it has the interference management thing as well? Absolutely, yeah. Interference Sweet. management here. And the other thing with that interference management, it it notifies you. You know, Maybe you can do something about it. Maybe you can't. Mm -hmm. um, but it compensates in the software, so it's nothing you have to do actively. And it shrinks that 80-meter range down to smaller, a 30-meter range that uh, focuses on a tighter area and is able to lock on a signal better. So intuitive, so awesome. Yeah, that's a great and the, the very last really cool thing I'm excited about this is the, uh, the Bluetooth is actually a bridge to our new app. And the app is, um, it's kind of threefold. It allows you to adjust the, the beacon settings and, and adjust there and register it. Um, but it also can tune into your local avalanche forecast from Europe to the USA. You kind of tune in on, on the phone app. And then um, there will also be education components. So you can get to know your product better through the app and be able to practice and use it better. <laughs> That's really thoughtful. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, Bluetooth isn't just like a, another frequency to communicate, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a bridge to, some, to you to better know your product and better use it. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, so that's the new BOT. That'll retail uh, next year at $399, which is an exceptional value for that level of product. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I was also very intrigued by uh, what I saw, probes and shovels. Yeah. So let me just grab one of these real quick. Yes. Um, so the, uh, like I mentioned, we're very specific on this category. Yeah. You'll also see that it equates to some niche product. Um, what we have here is uh, the lightest shovel on the market. This is one of our race carbon handles. Yeah, yeah, that's badass. Yep. And you know we got a, a single double weld aluminum, so it's slim. It's nice and fits in your pack well. Uh -huh. um, and if you do want something a little more durable, we have a metal version there that's telescoping. Um, the Plume TS. Nice. Yep. And so, uh, yeah, it's, you know, whether it's Rando Race or you just want something in a, a different pack that's lightweight. That's already um, lightweight. This. Yeah. And I feel. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's that's super lightweight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, similar things on the the probes. We got shovels every level, you know, and we do oh, have yeah. the big bad burly. Oh, yeah, that's my style right there. Home mode style shovel. Yeah, yeah. You're more price point friendly, you know, starting forty nine dollars up for next year. For that guy, the middle one. For the. Uh, this year's 39, next year 49. You yeah. get your metal topic there, but oh, that's really good um, price. you get to telescoping. This year's 49, next year will be 59. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the Axe is that home mode option. Uh, a much bigger scoop. Yeah, I'm all about so the So you can scoop. move a, a lot more snow, still sli oh, nice slimline, metal, everything too. else. Yeah, I like but that. For gripping, it's asymmetrical, whether you're right or left handed. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, you, you do have the hoe option here. So you can pop it in there yeah, and, some and, snow. and work some different muscles it does. in a shoveling formation, yeah. It's a team effort. It's nice to share the load, basically. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's badass. And then probes, yeah, it was a similar thing. We've got a, an, an assortment from a lightweight carbon. Um, that is actually the lightest par, uh, probe on the market. I think it's 180, 190 grams. And then uh, you get the bigger, badder, barely, you know, thick ones with the Rescue 300 Guide 260. Oh, sure. Um, the Spark is... It's kind of our best seller. Um, one nice thing on this, talking about backpack specifically, is this, this is just a pin lock. We have a ratchet lock version, but it breaks down very small. Oh yeah. So the sections are only 33 centimeters long. So when you break this thing down, it takes up very little room in your backpack. Smart, very good. Um, and so that is the Spark version um, right there and you're on 55 the, uh, retail there. Great price. Um, and then backpacks, the yeah. other categories, yeah. This, yeah, we were really excited about the backpacks. The materials, I, hopefully it shows in the video how attractive and durable the materials are. Yeah. So we do both non-airbag and airbag backpacks. What you're looking at here is our, our non-airbag series. We do have basically three families. We have that rescuer that's kind of a ski patrol daily driver that has synthetic fabrics, very durable, quick access um, type of products. Then we also have our Calgary series. Uh, the Calgary is a more value brand. Let me grab one real yeah. quick. Easy to use zippers. Nice. Side pocket, real nice. The Calgary will come in three sizes. 
Um, a 20 liter is kind of our base everyday pack. You can use it as a school pack, whatever. Mm -hmm. These are all made with recycled fabrics. And, oh, nice. Um, we're, we're right between 95 and 100% recycled materials on these. So that's pretty amazing. The 26 liter, which is the biggest this series comes in, is, uh, is a collaboration we did with Picture. So we have, it's a little more of like a roll top, kind of a styly pack. Um, same thing, recycled materials, a little graphic we, we use from Picture, which is also a French brand that's that's close to us. Oh, nice. So, but yeah, the Calgary's are our value series. Um, those will start around 100, 119 retail. Oh, nice. And attention to detail too, like you have burly reinforced edges for the skis or split board. Yeah, totally. Not just like little loops. Yeah. yeah, dedicated snowboard straps with a grip under and and then a dedicated, you know, red for rescue pocket, so you, like you have your shovel and probe and everything easy, easy accessible. Mm -hmm. And then the tour series, which caught your eye on coming in here, yeah. is is this newer uh, lightweight fabric. Um, you know, from 20, 25, and then thirty two is our largest one we have in that series. They are attractive. Yeah, very lightweight. What do you think? Like forty denier or something? No, it's, it's gonna be heavier than forty denier. I'm not sure on that. It's, it's burly, but lightweight. Yeah. Um, and then the last category we have, but is, is the airbags. So we have a big history with airbags. We actually worked uh, as a sister company with, uh, with the company that invented this category out of Europe. We broke away a few years ago to do our own thing, to let the engineers run with some ideas they had. So, you know, we've been selling airbags and designing them for over 15 years, um, but specifically under the Arva brand, we're in, I think, year seven. Um, something that you'll see on our, our airbags is, you might have grab the flex right around the back. Yeah. I'll, I'll grab a sample, but there's, there's three things I like to highlight in our airbag system, and this makes them very unique on the market and eye-opening. Number one is the inflation power. So when you pull whatever device it is that's gonna power this pack, we have the highest aspiration rate in the pack. So, um, so for example, if you see our system here, um, you'll put the canister here. It's the highest canister pressure on the market. 3,100 PSI is the minimum. Mm -hmm. We also have a compatible one that's at 4,500 PSI. We have two options that you can use. Oh, wow. And when you're traveling international, there's different uh, products regionally, you know. Sure. Um, but uh, but the, the aspiration rate the canister puts in, you have the highest blasting power, right? Yeah, that's and important. so if you had any type of blockage, snow, movement in the snow, uh, this has the best chance of punching its way out there. That's awesome. And that's one advantage. We realize the battery and the capacitor are more money, but um, that's the, one of their biggest weaknesses as far as a safety standpoint yeah. is the aspiration rate is very low on a fan bag. I never thought about that. Yeah. Mind blowing. <laughs> Second thing is the airbag itself. And yeah. a lot of people don't think about that. Yeah. They think all balloons float, they're all the same. If you look at the shape of our balloon right here, it's a dual chamber, uh, so there's a baffle in the middle. You had a puncture on one side, you still have half the bag intact. Mm -hmm. It's closer to the center mass, and then it's also a very rigid structure, so it's not gonna hinge with the snow. Um, so that's a key thing. If you're really asking this product to do what you want it to do, lift you up in moving snow so you don't suffocate, right? Yeah. This gives you what we feel is an, an advantage of, of lifting up from your center mass and, and technically getting you to the top. This is so amazing. You've yeah. brought to my attention so many things I had not thought about. Not only the beacon with the interference, but yeah, the technology you're putting into here uh, and all those little variables you mentioned, that's really important and impressive you guys have uh, taken that on. That's yeah, awesome. the, I mean, the guy that's designed this has been doing airbags full time for 15 years. Yeah. There's a lot of little details. It's kind of, I like to say it's the Audi versus the Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah. That they both go and everything else, but yeah. there's little details and I'll show you one or two others that'll uh, yeah. open your eyes. So the third key feature though is the weight distribution. Okay. So this is an eye opener for a lot of people and that use other brands as well because the way our system is distributed here, um, is it's a centered thing. So you can always say, oh, this airbag's five, five and a half, six pounds, whatever, but it's where that weight is placed that's key. I call it relative weight, right? So if I take this and you're using this airbag like you would 99.99, if not 100% of the time, you're just skiing around with it, Hopefully, yeah. snowboarding, snowmobiling, whatever your sport is, yeah. This is what's important is how it moves and balances. Mm -hmm. If you start to look at every other design out there, all the other bags are top heavy or yep. side heavy. I won't say all, but mo you know, most everyone out there. Sure. And so when they're top heavy, it can throw your balance off. Mm -hmm. When they're side heavy, etc. So with this weight, you know, we hope it equates to a customer never hesitating to take their airbag out, right? right. And say, oh, well, I don't want the extra weight. I'm not going to use it today. We, that's, we don't want that. And so once somebody uses our system, they love it and they fall in love with it. And 
and they don't hesitate to use it. That's smart. Uh, but yeah, yeah, those little details also. So the relative weight is key um, to what to what that is. We have a 3D fit system, so basically you can have a size small. Size medium and size large. Oh, no way. And it's when, back there instead of going up and down. Here. Yeah. Okay. So that changes, you know, if you put it on somebody, it's it's almost, think of it this way, a custom footbed for your back. Yes. And so it just it just has the best optimal surface area to hold that weight. And um, the 3D comes from, it adjusts three things. It adjusts the torso height. Yeah. The strap length. Yeah, no more load lifter. Yep. And then here's the other key feature, number three, is it puts the handle in the ideal placement spot right here. So I'm skiing, I'm gonna tuck this out of the way in this little home. This is a proprietary handle to us. It's got a mechanical lock. You don't see that from other brands. You open it up, you see the angle of it, you see the rigidity. Yeah. One finger, if you needed to, right? <laughs> this is a statistic out there yeah. that's unfortunately becoming more and more as people that are in avalanches have an airbag pack and aren't able to deploy it. Right. Different reasons, their pull strap might be on, they can't reach it. They move too fast, the rug got pulled out. They swing and miss it because it's too high or too low, right? You have a split second and this puts it right there in that ideal spot. All the attention to detail is so impressive. Yeah. Yeah. And again, to close it out, I'm on the chairlift. I don't want my buddies to go. I'm throwing my car. I just lock it there. I can store it with the cap if I want. Oh, yeah. And this, this is the reactor system. The reactor flex has interchangeable sizes. So the last thing I'll say, we have two families in this airbag pack, plus a vest that's amazing. They used it yeah. in the natural selection store last year. Oh yeah. Um, so when you make this investment, and the, the Arva product is very affordable, but the reactor 18 can also change to a 24, 32, or 40 liter pack um, by just simply buying the sleeve for it. Oh, I'm all about the 40 liter. That's awesome. Yeah, the 40 yeah. liter's huge. It's an amazing pack. Um, and yeah, a low profile. Again, it, it makes it feel like you're not wearing an airbag. Brand new for next year that hasn't been released. We'll have the switch range as well. Oh, you can yes. see all the sizes and styles that comes in. So the, the 26 ski trip and there's a 30 liter that are this synthetic fabric come in blue or black. There's the Tour series similar to the non-airbag pack that comes in uh, that 25, the 32, and the 40. And then, um, and so you can interchange them. And then the last thing I'll say on this, next year's we want people to have full use, full versatility. We're gonna sell these in bundles where you can buy it with, with a small one and a big one at a reduced price to the customer. Well, that's great, good so versatility. Have the best of both worlds. Yeah, for a big day tour or exactly. a really small one. It's an investment for people. You know, those, those bundles will start on about seven eighty nine, dollars okay. and you'll have an airbag you can use on the resort or in a yurt trip, and you're, you're set. That's so awesome. Well, we're really excited to see Arva. We're even more excited now going into detail. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thank you for your time. You bet. Thanks for coming by. My pleasure. Thank you.